Hello everyone, it's Angie the Craft NATO, and I am here today with something so, so, so very exciting. I have been wanting to purchase this for literally months. Um, it's been on my mind um, for months and months and months, and I finally decided to pull the trigger and I ordered this and you can see what it is. It is from Diamond Painting Deutschland. So let's get into it and see what I got. Um, I am super impressed with the speed with which this arrived here. Um, it does come in case you're not aware of Diamond Painting Deutschland. They are a diamond painting company from Germany and it arrived um, incredibly fast. I think I ordered this. It was actually scheduled to be delivered on Wednesday. Today is Monday and it was delivered this morning. So I'm very, very happy with the speed of the shipping. It, um, I ordered this, I want to say Thursday and here it is Monday and I have it already. So this is so incredibly annoying or <laughs> annoying, exciting. Um, we do, we're at a little bit of a wide angle today because this painting is absolutely huge. If you know anything about Diamond Painting Deutschland, you know that um, they are a company that kind of specializes in um, max colors. So uh, your diamond paintings, well, not all of them, they do have some standard um, kits but um, they're well known for having diamond paintings that are uh, very large and have just a, a, a huge amount of colors. So what did I get? I got, I don't know, my favorite diamond painting that I've ever completed was um, Artemisa by Anise Guerrero from Diamond Art Club. And it is a depiction of the Greek god, god Artemis, who is the god of wilderness, goddess of wilderness and the hunt and chastity and uh, those kinds of things. And her uh, Roman counterpart is the goddess Diana. So I thought that this would be a interesting companion piece in completely different styles, uh, completely different um, styles of art uh, as far as the artist goes. Um, but I thought that this would be a really nice companion piece um, to go with um, Artemisa. And let's just pop the drills out. And I did get this in round drills. Now, one thing to know about uh, Diamond Painting Deutschland is it is double-sided adhesive. So if you're not a fan of double-sided adhesive, this might not be uh, the place to go for you. I did order this in round diamonds. I decided that I did not want to risk um you know squares can be tricky i've never ordered from this company so i wasn't uh really sure about um how their squares would work out as far as you know sometimes with squares you can have gapping or you can have popping drills and i did not want to deal with that so in order just to um, eliminate that worry, that potential worry, I decided to get this in round drills. And we'll take a look at the drills in a couple of minutes. Um, first, I'll take a Oh, I got a little candy. Must be a German candy. I've never heard of it. We'll give those a try, or we'll give them to Nate to give them a try. He's my candy taster. And uh, you do get just a standard toolkit, it looks like, with a small white diamond painting tray with a with a funnel or with a spout a uh, plate of wax a squishy from your for your pen a pen and a few multi place couple multi placers looks like you get a thin four placer and then a uh, wide I'd say that's like a 10 placer and if you know anything about Josephine Wall um, her kits are notoriously confetti filled so I doubt that I'll get a chance to use that 10 placer um, and then you do get a pair of rounded point, nice rounded point tweezers that are branded. Um, so those are nice tweezers to have. 
And like I said, I couldn't be, this is like my magnum opus. This is the diamond painting that is going to be, you know, the diamond painting of my life um, as far as uh, scope and size and number of colors. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this diamond painting has 250 colors. Because it is double-sided adhesive, you want to make sure that you unroll this very slowly and kind of let it do its own thing. You don't ever want to roll a double-sided adhesive canvas backwards. Um, that would be, uh, you'd end up with, you know, bubbles and rivers and you definitely don't want that. And so I'm not really, especially, I've done double-sided adhesive canvases before, of course, but I've never done one of this size. So I want to make sure that I'm really taking my time with this and letting it just um, kind of expand naturally. Um, and this is a really nice feeling canvas. It is uh, fabric-y and it looks beautiful from the back. I'm not seeing any bubbles or, and I'm not feeling any bubbles or rivers or anything like that. So that's wonderful to know that the quality is there. Um, once we get this unrolled a bit, I will go ahead. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. So I'm hoping that there is a, oh, and I have another pack of drills in there. I didn't think that looked like quite enough drills for 250 colors. Don't ask me how in the world I'm going to kit this up because I haven't quite decided yet. Um, I'm not going to, I made myself a rule, and you're going to see a video about this uh, coming up very soon. I made myself a, uh, an event. <laughs> it's an event that only I'm participating in, and I am not going to have any new starts in August. That's right, I am going to work only on my works in progress. Uh, let's take a look at the paperwork that came with this. And so, of course, I just have my packing slip here. And this was quite pricey. Um, it's probably, it's definitely the most I've ever paid for a diamond painting. But I think that it's going to be worth it. Um, and I'm super, super excited about it. So it looks like you do have an inventory sheet that lists of the DMCs that you need, how many, or the DMC code. I'm sorry, the DMC number, the code, how many you need, and how many were included. So we got three big pages of that. And these codes, I've got to tell you, look a little bit intimidating. Um, just because how, I mean, the amount of codes that you're going to need for 250 colors, that's, that you're going to need some pretty pretty uh, varied codes. And then I'm really happy to see this is they did include label stickers. So I will have labels already made up. I was thinking I was going to need to put this on a label maker. Boy, it doesn't seem like there's enough stickers there to correspond with um, there's only two sheets here of stickers and that doesn't seem that definitely doesn't correspond with the amount of do I have something screwed up here? No, those are definitely just three pages and I definitely don't have enough sticker sheets there to correspond with every single DMC code because there's only two sheets of labels. So that's a little bit disappointing. However, there's definitely not 250 symbols on these two sheets of paper. Um, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 9 times 17, maybe there are. I doubt it. 9 times 7 is 90. No, I don't think so. So something must have happened there, but I'm not too worried about it because these are kind of large stickers anyway and might not fit on the um, storage containers that I plan on using. 
So I can very easily just run this through my Xyron sticker maker. I'm sure if I contacted them, um, I could get the missing sticker sheets, but I'm not that worried about it. I think that I would rather just work from this inventory sheet anyway and run it through my Xyron sticker maker, and I'll make my labels that way because these are a little bit more of a manageable size to fit on the top of my storage containers. Unless I'm missing something. Nope, I'm not missing something. So, yeah, you know what? Maybe I will contact them. Um, because this came so fast, I can't believe that I wouldn't also get another, you know, piece of mail that quickly from them as well. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see what I decide to do. Again, I can't start on this because I made myself a rule and I'm going to try. I've got a little bubble right there. I'm not happy to see that. All right. I've let this relax enough, I believe. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. And you guys have no idea how nervous I am about this process that I'm about to do. So if you didn't know, a way to get your double-sided adhesive to relax um, is to peel the, ad peel the covering back and then relay it down and then you'll get rid of that curve. So this piece is, the dimensions on this are, uh, let's see if it says it on my packing slip because I don't really remember, 80 by 100 centimeters. So this is an 80 by 100 centimeter kit, which is huge, uh, one of the biggest that I have. And I don't know how I'm going to work on it, but we're gonna start here at this corner and this is going to be I might have to get up and you want to peel this back very slowly and I apologize if this is going to be a little bit boring but I this is something that I spent so much money on um, that I don't want to I don't want to endanger the diamond painting at all I want to make sure that I um, and treating it with the utmost respect and oh my goodness is it ever beautiful beautiful symbols um, I can see that the symbol clarity is definitely there I don't think I'm gonna have a problem at all I was a little bit worried um, with getting rounds that I would have you know big guide circles and they're not they're what I like to call guide shadows so I can't really bring this up to the camera to show you, but um, the, it's, the circle is there in a color that's slightly, um, slightly darker. I have to get up and go to the other side of the table to pull this. And I'm wearing, <laughs> hopefully you won't be able to see what I'm wearing on my bottoms. No, you shouldn't be able to, good. I'm wearing a pair of Jeff's boxer shorts with my t-shirt today. Um, I was just too excited when this got here. I wanted to film this right away. And, you know, when you're only showing your hands, you don't really usually worry about what the rest of you looks like. And I didn't consider that I might have to, um, I might have to get up and do this a little bit differently. So I'm not sure how much we're going to have to do this in halves. So I'm not sure how much you're going to be able to see at a time. So we're just seeing the top part of her with the peacock feather and you can see the big moth right there and you can see actually we're not seeing the top we're seeing the bottom this is oriented I see it. I'm pulling from the bottom so I'm just gonna spin this around so what we're seeing that looks a little bit better that looks a lot better so what we're seeing here is um, the bottom of her neck the peacock feather we've got some feathers in her hair this is just her, the bottom of her chin showing right here 
Um, let's see if I can pull a little bit more this way. And again, I want to be really careful. I apologize if this is just painful to watch, but I can't risk damaging this. It would I would be absolutely heartbroken if I did something to make this uh, in any way to detract from its beauty in any way. And God, I wish I could start on this. Oh, it's just so amazingly beautiful. She is, look at that face in the moon and look at all of the feathers and everything in her hair. It's just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm just going to show you that portion of it before I roll this um, half back onto the canvas. And then we'll take a look at the top portion of it because there's even more. It's there's even more going on in the top portion. Um, but God, isn't she beautiful? And I'm just really closely looking at the symbol clarity while I'm here and um, bent over this painting. And it is definitely there. I don't think I'm going to have a problem with any. Um, of the symbol clarity there are just a ton of crazy symbols it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting and uh, yeah I you know what it's only August 2nd I had I didn't <laughs> I on July 31st I was having a little bit of um, anxiety thinking oh my gosh I've got to kit something up I've got to kit something up because I'm gonna do this no start for August and I did not get anything up on July 31st. So I feel like I might have a mulligan. Like maybe I um, maybe I could get this up. And I knew this was coming. And I, I really, really want to work on this. And, you know, surprisingly, <clears throat> over here, there is a bit of color blocking. Not much. Not much. I'll never be able to use a 10 placer or whatever that placer was that they gave me. But there's a little bit of color blocking over here. So this is going to be absolutely phenomenal. And I think that my subscribers that I have told that I am doing a no start for August, I think because of what this is and because it's so special, I think they would forgive me if I were to hit this up and start it. Now, I've never worked on a double-sided, well, I've never worked on any canvas this large, um, so I don't quite know how I'm going to um, section it off. I think I'll just cut sections out of the, um, whoops, and see I screwed that up. I don't want, this is exactly what I didn't want to do. I didn't want to be too quick with this. Um, wanted to make sure that I was really careful and mindful of how I'm doing this. But geez, it is going to be so beautiful. So, so beautiful. I am just in love with this image. So let's peel back the top half, um, and you can see the difference. You can see where this is the half that we rolled back and see how it's lying nice and flat. And this over here is the part that we haven't pulled back yet, and it's still very um, rolled looking. So let's get this pulled back. And there is a key up here, or a legend up here at the top. I don't know how uh, user-friendly that would ever be, but you do have that up there if you need it. Um, let me just carefully peel back from the top and we'll go down to the point that we left off. Oh, and I did create a little bit of a river there. And that's something I did. That's not what anything they did. I don't see, yeah, I created a little bit of a bubble. Um, that's easily correctable. If you do have end up with a bubble or a river, you can just take either a pen knife or the tip of your, the brass tip of your diamond painting pen and just scratch 
diagonally along that river or that bubble and push the adhesive back down. You don't want to place drills right over top of that um, because you will, um, they won't, they won't lie correctly. So let's peel this back and see if we can get down to where we left off. So we have, where are we at? We're going to go back a little bit further because I want to get just a little bit more of her face showing. There we go. We'll, we'll call that, we'll call that the rest of the way. But this isn't she absolutely gorgeous, just absolutely beautiful. And I've worked on Josephine Wall paintings uh, before, but never one um, of this magnitude and definitely never one that had this many colors. I am so, I, I, you guys, I'm so excited right now, I'm shaking. So I hope that I could get a little bit of, um, a little bit of latitude and I think I really want to start it. I really, really do. Uh, but this is going to be a monumental. This is going to take me months and months and months. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Let's peel. Let's let's put this back. Put this cover back and take a look at the drills because I am anxious. Um, any other unboxings I've seen of Josephine Wall kits from Diamond Painting Deutschland, um, people have chosen square drills, and. Uh, I know that that's probably the more popular route to go, but I decided to go with round drills and I'm excited to see uh, the quality of the drills and what we're going to be working with. We're not going to go through every color, of course, because that would take, <laughs> that would take us all day, wouldn't it? 250 colors, but we can look at the quality of the drills at least. I am happy with the quality of the canvas. Like I said, it's a it's a nice pliable canvas. Um, has a nice, uh, not a soft back, but a nice fabric back. So let's take a, let's just grab, so we've got three big packs of drills. And I'm happy to see that there isn't like a, I, I, I'm gonna be able to kit this up probably into my favorite, um, and I think that it'll work perfectly. Excuse me if my voice is, I'm going into my, my closet here. I think I'm gonna kit these up in these. Now I know these are not popular, um, but for me, the way I work, these, these are so perfect because I can stack them one on top of the other onto my side table while I'm working. And it looks like there's not a, like a huge amount of any one color to where I'm gonna to have to have multiple containers of, of, of the same color. And so let's just, I'm just gonna pull out a color and take a look and see what the quality looks like. Cause I'm interested to see if they're gonna be, they are pre-bagged drills. So that's um, interesting to note. You know, and I find that to me, with square drills, there's a lot more, um, how can I say, uh, the quality is more uniform uh, than when you're dealing with round drills. Round drills, you've either got good drills or you've got crap drills. Um, and these look, trying to see, these look really, really good. These look like very, very nice drills. So they're very flat backs. Um, they look very shiny and they look like they're the smooth, like wet looking drills. Um, not the ones that where the facets are so prominent. Um, they're the lower profile drills. They're not the real high crowned ones, which I prefer. And someone was telling me, and I don't know that this is a fact because I've never counted the facets, 
but the ones that I'm talking about that are the ones you can see the facets, those actually have 16 facets, whereas the ones that I call the premium quality round drills actually have 32 facets, and that's why they look more rounded because there's so many facets that you just really can't see them. And so these are what I consider the premium quality drills, and they are absolutely, they look wonderful. They look absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I am super stoked about this. I am really, really excited. The size really intimidates me. Um, the number of colors really intimidates me. And I don't know, I watched uh, Katie from Diamonds and Washi. Um, she is working on a Josephine Wall kit, Spirit of Flight, um, which I have that kit from Diamond Art Club. And I haven't kitted up, I just haven't started it yet. And she organized her drills by like symbols. So any symbol that was like traffic related, she grouped together. Um, symbols that were letters, she grouped together. And um, symbols that were like square shaped or round shaped or triangular or arrows, she grouped together. I'm not sure how I am going. I'm going to have to really take a look at this um, drill list and be mindful of it. I'm thinking I actually might do it by color. Um, like, you know, drills of, you know, all the browns I'll put together. I usually, when I kit up, I go in DMC order. And that usually works really well for me. Um, but I don't know with a painting of this magnitude of this many colors. I don't know that that's really going to work out. Do you guys have any suggestions? How would you, how would you kit this up? How many, how would you um, organize your drills? I'm not sure. And I think now that I think about it, I think that I am going to go ahead and contact them about the missing sticker sheets because that's, I think that it would really be helpful to um because these are a little bit bigger of images now that i'm looking at this these are really hard to see they're very very small it's hard to see the detail and on the sticker sheet it's a little bit better like look at that symbol it's like a graph <laughs> you know like that's going to be hard to see in something really really teeny so we're going to have to um we're gonna have to really think about this and be mindful of what we're gonna do as far as that goes. Might this be all the stickers? I don't know. I I can't believe that it is. We're gonna, I'll have to do a little bit more. Let me see. So we got 154 to, to 987. 154 to 987. Nine eighty seven and then nine ninety one to six thousand. It must be. Maybe this is all of the stickers. I bet it is. I bet you they're right. Nine times seventeen is yeah, this is all the stickers. What am I thinking? I'm a goofball, you guys. Don't listen to me. This, all the stickers are here. So, wonderful. That's great news. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to have to really be mindful of how I'm going to, how I'm going to kit this up. I'm a little bit worried about symbols like this, like this 155 and 156. They're two arrows with the same color background that are just in different directions because when I work on a diamond painting, especially one of this size, I'm moving it all around. I'm not, you know, working that on it from the same direction. So I'll work on it sideways and backwards. Oh, and then we've got this one here too, 341, look at that. So we've got up, down, and sideways of those arrows, all with similar color backgrounds. So that might be a little bit difficult to work with. Um, or to differentiate, you know, then you've got like this 646 here and 
745 here, they're the same symbol, but they are um, different color backgrounds and backwards, you know, mirror images of each other. So that'll be easy enough just because they have different color backgrounds. So that shouldn't be a problem. As long as they have different color backgrounds, I won't have a problem. But what gets to be a little bit tricky is when you have similar symbols that could be um, transposed, you know what I mean? Uh, depending on what orientation you're working on the picture and they have the same color background. So these three symbols right here, I can tell are gonna give me fits and I'm really gonna have to be careful when I'm working on, um, when I'm working with those symbols. Oh yeah, and here's another, no, that's that same one we were looking at. So yeah, <laughs> we've got a spaceship and a paint roller and an anchor, that's not too weird, but just really different, <laughs> a plug and an outlet, <laughs> so, some faces, a beaker with liquid in it, trash can. <laughs> There's a lot of symbols on here that are that are pretty funny. So that is what I got from Diamond Painting Deutschland. And this was something that I did have to um, contact them via email, let them know what I wanted to order. Um, I was, I, I don't speak German. I don't read German. And uh, they were very, very helpful. And um, they actually, I told them what I wanted. They sent me a PayPal invoice and I just paid via the PayPal link and everything worked out swimmingly and it was just easy peasy, no problem. And this is, like I said, this is something that I've been looking at for months and I think it's going to be a beautiful companion piece to Artemisa. Again, not the same style at all of art, but you know, the, the Greek representative of the Greek and Roman goddesses of wilderness and the hunt and chastity and uh, women. And uh, I'm very much into Greek and Roman mythology. And I really, really thought that this was, this is out of all of, I'm not a huge Josephine Wall fan, but out of all of the images that, uh, that she has, this is the one that definitely spoke to me the most and uh, I hope that you like it and I am super excited I don't know what I'm gonna do with this now that I've got it all flattened out um, I'm gonna have to start it you guys there's just no there's just no choice I, I'm gonna have to start it here it is somebody said I wouldn't last a day I've lasted two days but uh, I should have made an exception for this because um, yeah, this is one that definitely needs to needs to get on the craft table and needs to get worked up and worked on. So this is what I have. Thank you for um, being here with me while I open this and show you um, its beauty. And I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section. I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Thanks for, uh, thanks for being here, and I will see you guys in my next video. All right, have a great day. Bye.